What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. Today is an update video on what's been going on with the aquarium in a jar. So what's going on with the aquarium in a jar? Well, this guy right here has been destroying things for weeks on end because I didn't really glue anything down, so it's very important that you glue your corals down in the place where you want them so they won't fall or get knocked over. Okay, so what's the plan? Well. I purchased some super glue so that I can keep that snail from knocking over the corals again and it's important to get a gel super glue that contains cyanoacrylate. This kind of glue is perfectly fine to use in your reef aquarium and it's cheaper than most coral glues out there on the market. So it's a cheap solution to keeping your corals in place. Now I plan to use these tongs and some other tools to rearrange the aquarium in a jar so that it can thrive long term and look great. So when I started to rearrange the corals to kind of get an idea for where I want to place them, um, I noticed that the Christmas Rhodactus mushroom that I had purchased had split into two mushrooms. So that was definitely a nice discovery and you can see both of them right here. Now I continue to move things around briefly removing frags and applying the glue to the bottom of the frag plug and gently placing it back into the desired uh, location back in the jar. I also found it easier to work by moving the light fixture out of the way, which if you're starting your own reef tank in a jar project and you would like to get this LED light for your tank, I'll have a link in the description below on where you can pick up your own. Okay, so from here I just kept moving uh, the zoanthids out of the way, moving the mushrooms, uh, picking up the Duncan coral. Now when working with zoanthids you really uh, should probably use gloves and I know I'll get it in the comments that I didn't have gloves on uh, but none of the zoanthids were cut and I was mainly using the tongs to pick them up and touch the frag plug so I didn't get any uh, zoanthid uh, stuff on my hands, so there's no need to worry um, But please use caution when handling zoanthids because uh, They can some of them can be harmful. So when I removed this frag plug from the tank I noticed these little white specks on it, and I did have um, An issue with a couple uh, Zoanthid eating nudibranchs and which I removed but these little white dots looked like eggs so I scraped them off and cleared them off of the plug before I put it back into the tank to prevent any outbreaks of new uh, zoanthid eating nudibranchs. So once I got the corals glued down where I wanted them and they were all in place, it was time to set up the light, turn it on, and let the corals get adjusted to their new locations in the aquarium in a jar. Let them acclimate, uh, let them take the time to see if everyone likes where they were placed, make sure I liked where they were placed, and now the new look of the aquarium in a jar. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I make videos all the time. So clicking that subscribe button and checking that bell icon, you'll be notified every time I make a new video. If you liked what you saw, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or would like to comment on what you would like to see more of on this channel, be sure to comment below. Once again, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.